Keep in mind, H3VR is a constantly updated game. Future patches could make the information in this video outdated and no longer accurate. See the developer's YouTube channel at Anton Hand to keep up to date with the weekly devlogs. Anton recently added a new control scheme to H3VR that simplifies firearm interactions while also freeing up the thumbsticks for movement. This control scheme is perfect for players that want to use twin stick movement on controllers with no extra trackpad, or for those that want less complex input options. However, you must have a controller that has two face buttons. Old Windows Mixed Reality or Vive controllers won't work. It is perfect for Oculus controllers like on the Quest, or even the ones on the HP Reverb G2. It works on the Index as well, though not quite as necessary. The naming of the buttons can be different depending on the platform, so I will just be referring to them as the top and bottom buttons. This should make the instructions accurate for all controllers. I would recommend watching my other tutorial videos for more in-depth descriptions of the interactions in the game. I will only be touching on the things that are different with this control scheme, not the controls or interactions for everything. Though, with only two buttons, it is far more easy to figure out on your own. Right now, the game will ask you to choose a scheme at the main menu screen when you first load in. You can also change this using the Options panel under Work in Progress Features. Obviously, this will move in the future, probably to input options. The top button is typically the default button. If a gun only has one control, it will be used with the top button. The top button will fire the grab ray. Hold the top button to fire the ray, then pull the trigger to grab. You can use the top button to spawn lock or harness items in your quick belt. Hover your controller over the pocket and press the top button to toggle it on and off. When holding a magazine, the top button will eject a round. To grab more than one cartridge of the same type, hold the bottom button while still grabbing the cartridge with the trigger. Touch another round to pick it up. You can let go of the bottom button when you're done. While palming ammo like this, you can drop a single round with the top button or load them into a magazine or firearm. Unlike in the default controls, you cannot cycle through the rounds you are currently holding and will have to load them in the order in which you pick them up. With most firearms, like pistols, the top button will cycle the safety and or the fire selector. The bottom button will typically be a magazine release. On many pistols, after emptying a magazine, the slide will be locked back. Now the top button will release the slide, or you can do it with the other hand. There are more complex slide and hammer interactions that you can do with the default control scheme, but they aren't necessary to the basic operation of the gun. The basic layout of top button for fire select and bottom button for magazine release maps to many of the guns in the game. Remember though, not all guns have a magazine release that can be operated from your main hand and will require you to remove them with your other hand. The other basic layout on many other firearms is the one you will find on revolvers. The top button will open the weapon to be loaded and closed depending on the firearm. The bottom button will pull back the hammer. This is how revolvers, flare guns, some shotguns, and some breech loading weapons work. While this basic layout is on single action revolvers, it's just a little bit more complicated. The top button will open the loading gate, and while it is open, the bottom button will rotate the cylinder. Once fully loaded, the top button will close the gate, and then the bottom button will pull back the hammer. Some breech loading weapons will work slightly differently. The bottom button will still pull back the hammer, but pressing the bottom button again will open the breech. Load it, and then the top button will close it. Bottom, bottom, top, fire. With pump shotguns, the top button will cycle the safety if the gun has one. The bottom button will let you force a cycle and let you eject unfired shells. With lever action weapons, holding the top button will let you force a cycle. 
Unfortunately, at this time, there is no way to quick bolt or slide bolt with streamlined controls. So you will have to manually grab the bolt on bolt action weapons. Since the top button is the fire selector and the bottom button is mag release, weapons like this won't have a bolt release on the controller. You can use the charging handle to release the bolt, or if the firearm has one, touch the bolt release with your other hand. Some weapons have integrated sights that can be adjusted. Grab them and use the top or bottom button to cycle through the settings. Once you have put an attachment on a weapon, grab it and press and hold the bottom button to remove it. The top button will activate many attachments, like lasers. Now, since there are limited control options to change the settings on your scopes, you will have to press the top button to activate the controls. Then, you can point and click to change windage, zero, magnification, etc. With the melee weapon in your hand, pressing the top or bottom button will let you cycle through the different handling poses. Unfortunately, due to the limited input of this control scheme, it isn't possible to use the full range of interactions, so on a weapon like the Hush Puppy, you can't lock the slide. That is most of the controls you will run into while using the streamlined setup. If you haven't already, take a look at my other tutorial videos to see a more in-depth look at the mechanics of the game and how to use some of the more complicated firearms. Combine those with this video and you'll be ready to handle just about anything in H3VR. And if you want, you can catch me on Twitch sometimes at dv underscore tv. Thanks for watching.